Lionel Castle and such. There's actually not a battle here, I don't think. Lionel Guardsman. What errand brings you to Lionel? This is one of the best songs. I am Ag... Ooh, I can't talk. I am Agrius Oaks, a knight of the Lion's Guard. My companions and I have journeyed from Orban Monastery, seeking sanctuary. By the grace of Santa Jora, I beg you, lay open your gate. The graces of Santa Jora are in the keeping of his eminence here. All who seek those graces are given like treatment. The gates of Lionel stand open to them. Raise the gate. Do it. Don't make me come over there. Bum, bum, bum. Though sadly, after this, a Agrius is going to leave the party, so that kind of sucks, but that's how it goes sometimes. I see, Lady Agrius. I have a bald head and a mustache. Would you like to stroke it? In such circumstances as this, I am fain to lend you whatever help I can. I shall dispatch a courier to Milan at once. High Confessor Marcel will have this news from my own hand. We will expose Duke Lark's misdeeds and ensure that no harm be befall you, Princess. Your Eminence, thank you. Thank you, the High Confessor, will hear our plea. Fear not, dear lady. You are in my care now. Princess Ovelia can scarce feel at ease while those tasked with her safety are vexed with such worryment. You may enjoy the comforts of the castle, wanting though they are, while we await a reply from Milan. You are most gracious, Eminence. Thank you. Do you have any Captain Crunch? I'm hungry. I haven't gone to the supermarket today. So long as Santa Jora is our guide, we have naught to fear, child. As for you, my young machinist, I have given consideration to your troubles as well. I'm gonna make a pun and I'm not lying. Do 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 do. I will send a hand-picked company of my finest men to Goog to put an end to this bear trading company. Thank you, your eminence. Conditioned upon this, I would hear the reason they chose to pursue you and your father. That is... I meant to say, it's not... Come, come. Mayhap this will give voice to your words. Ooh. A crystal? Well, this is a Final Fantasy. Wouldn't be a Final Fantasy without a crystal, now would it? You are familiar with the legend of the Zodiac Braves. In my youth, I often heard a fanciful tale of that name at Mass. What's this? Surely, Lady Agrius, you do not aver that the Church would mislead its flock. No, no, of course not, Your Eminence. Long ago, before the mountains had ceased their wandering and struck their roots into the earth, the Lucave held dominion over the world. Twelve heroes that were there were who came forward to challenge these Lucavi. In a long and bitter struggle, they succeeded in driving the Lucavi to the spirit world, and Ivalice again knew peace. The twelve each bore an orosite crystal emblazoned with the house of the night sky. And so in time, they became known as the Zodiac Braves. Ever after, when discord and strife paid visit to the halls of men, they would return to save us once more. You have clearly been a most apt pupil, princess. Elder Simon himself instructed me at Orban, which reminds me of another thing he said. Saint Ajora walked with the Twelve, and together they saved Ivalice from ruin. We call the crystals of the Twelve the Zodiac Stones. The stone you see before you now is a stone from that very legend. Orosite, it exists? I did not think it's possible. 
Or that it held the sacred power to keep the Lukave at bay, eh? Because apparently he's Canadian. I confess, I feel some power deep within, but my eyes only see a common crystal. Mustadio, are you well? The color has left your face. You have seen a stone like this one beneath Goog, have you not? Machines whose fires have long since guttered up lie strewn in the tunnels beneath the city. But pass that stone near them, and you can hear them stir. Then Barrett seeks the Auricide, eh? I do not know what power these zodiac stones hold. I only... I know only that Ludovich Barrett hopes to find some way to harness the power and make a fearsome weapon. My father would not give them the stone, so they took him instead. Put your worries from your mind, my young machinist. The church will see this matter is dealt with. Our forces will strike and wrest the stone from their hands. Of, of course, your eminence. I will join the company that makes for Goog. Thank you, Ramza. We would never have succeeded in reaching His Eminence, the Cardinal, without you, Ramza. You have my thanks as well. I can only wish you well. Small aid, I know. Your words are all the aid I could ever ask for. Audio. So we part ways. Do 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 do. Stickleth Venlands. I think it. I think in the PS1 version it was just called some kind of swamp. <laughs> That's a different name for you. Countless people died here during the Fifty Years' War, changing this once fertile plain into a poisonous fen. And the clockwork city of Goog, which used to be just Goog Machine City. A mining town where, me where mechanical weapons are crafted using techniques passed down from antiquity. Oh, you gotta love antiquity. It's so awesome. It's like one of the best things ever. The Cardinal and the Stone. Cardinal Delacroix greeted us warmly at the keep of Lionel Castle and pledged to send word of Duke Larg's plot to the High Confessor at once. The Cardinal also showed us one of the Zodiac Stones spoken of in ancient Ivalesian legend. It came to light that Mustadio's troubles were also connected to the stones, and so we set out for Goog while the Princess and Lady Agrius remained at the castle. Seekers of the Stone The crystal that had been unearthed deep beneath the city of Goog was in fact one of the legendary Zodiac Stones. Fearing the stone would fall into the wrong hands, Mustadio's father, Besrodio, entrusted it to his son and beseeched him to hide it someplace safe. But just as Mustadio took the stone, thugs in the employ of the Bayart Trading Company arrived to give chase. So this is a scene that you don't actually get to see unless you actually go here and look at it, for some reason. So I guess it's like an optional scene. Take this! Take it and run! He's on a crutch! Run? Run where? Uh-oh. Ludovic's henchmen. No use hiding. We know you're in there. This is the police! Come out with your hands up! I'll not leave you here. Come on. I can't run. Not with this leg. Heed me and go. Do you really think that I could leave you here? That stone has the power to destroy entire kingdoms. We can't let a man like Ludovic have it. You must take it somewhere safe. Go to Cardinal Delacroix. He'll help you. I'm sure of it. Uh-oh. It's a thief and an archer and... This turd. No one answered, so we let ourselves in. Now, if you'll kindly hand me the orosite. Go, Mustadio. Stop being a pool expert. Hurry! 
Don't just stand there after him. Alrighty then. So that, was, so that was a fun time. Then, of course, after that, he ended up in Zaland, and we saved him, and so on and so forth. So on and so forth. Do, 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 do. Da, na, 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 na. Do, 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 do. But before we move on, I believe there's new stuff in the shops. Once you go to Lionel. Um, let's see what we got. Platinum Dagger, I don't think that's new. Giant's Axe. Got some new rods. Iron Flail. You can buy the Romandon Pistol now, although there's not, re not really any, any reason to do so. You can buy an Iron Flail. A weapon comprised of a large iron head attached to a long wooden handle. Can be used by squire, geomancers, and ninjas. Okay, I guess we get one of those. Night Slayer. The firing mechanism of this crossbow has been improved upon, increasing its attack power. So you can get one of those if you want. Uh, no, 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 no. Still the same book. We can get some spears. You can buy the golden shield now. That's definitely nice. And the golden helm. We got some new accessories. Don't really need to buy any of that stuff. So let's see. And golden helmet's not as good as the the close helmet. We can buy the golden armor now. So for new accessories, we got rubber boots. These resin boots conform perfectly to the shape of the wearer's feet, negating lightning-based magic damage. So, th so that's useful for lightning protection. And it makes you immune to immobilize, Tekken 7 style. And we got Protect Ring. A ring forged from metal imbued with magic makes you immune to sleep and doom. That's an interesting combination. And Guardian Bracelet. A bracelet embedded with deep crimson jewels. Makes you immune to immobilize and disable. Hmm. And we get the next cloak, Mage's Cloak, which also brings your magic up by one. A hooded cloak often worn by mages. Not a bad thing to have. Okay, I think we'll keep the power gauntlet on you. Nice bow. Do we want to put on the knights? I don't know. I mean, we could. It actually is more powerful in, like, every way, but... I guess we will. Plus, then, we we can also put on a shield. So... Oh, I guess we can't. Normally, you can. Be, be, because it's not dual wield, but in this mod it is, so you can't do that, but that's alright. It's okay, man. I don't have to... Just calm down. Wizard clothing. Hmm. A hooded outfit often worn by mages. 42.15. So we can put that on. Na, 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 na. I don't think there's a better book. There's not a better book. Headgear. We got gr green beret, ladies and gentlemen. A beret worn by units assigned to special missions. Speed up by one. That's definitely nice. That's definitely a good thing to have. Wizard clothing. You can put that on. You have the spike on makes your jump up by three. So that's kind of a thing. And we're going to be able to use a, a, a uh, fifth character. We've been using four because we had two guests. So we're going to want to 
make sure they're equipped. Any new any new staves? Not really. Go ahead and keep that. Should probably keep the wizard's hat on her for the MP boost. Same with that, the wizard's robe, which you still can't buy, by the way. We just stole that from the freaking princess. We gave you the mage's cloak. Dun, 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 dun. Give Mustadio some better equipment. There you go. Um, a bum, 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 bum. We could use one of these. I guess we'll use Alicia then. Might as well. She already has a javelin. I guess we'll have her be a lancer. Or, you know, dragoon. We could get her a spear. The most commonly used type of spear, distinguished by its especially long reach. Because why not? Could get you a gold shield. Got you some better equipment. Golden helm. Golden armor. You got a lot of HP now. It's pretty sweet. Um, what do we want to give you here? Battle boots, I guess. Why not? It's always a good thing to have. We just spent like half our money, but that's okay. Well, you got some new stuff. It's pretty awesome. I don't think there's any new errands. Oh, there is. My little carrot. Oh, we got some new this stuff. The Legend of the Zodiac Brave. Long ago, before Iblis was united as it is today, the land was divided into seven kingdoms. Zeltenia, Fovaham, Lionel, Limberry, Lasalia, Galeon, and Melande. Each kingdom clashed with the others in an endless e in an endless effort to expand its own territory. The conflict continued for centuries until a brave and ambitious young king appeared in Melande. This king dreamt of uniting all of Ivalice under his hand, but such feats are not with with ease achieved. Turning to ancient tomes and the dark magics found within, he summoned a demon from the netherworld to do his bidding. But once unleashed, the demon could not be controlled. It slew the king and set out to destroy the world of men. That's too bad. Twelve brave warriors were gathered to slay the demon and the foul horrors that it had summoned. They soon defeated the horrors and banished the demon back to the netherworld. These twelve warriors each carried with them a crystal engraved for the sign of the Zodiac, and so became known as the Zodiac Braves. Zodiac Stones. These crystals are said to date from the Age of Myth. Each bears the mark of a sign of the Zodiac, leading them to be called the Zodiac Stones. How creative. They are thought to harbor divine power, which allowed the Zodiac Braves to perform astonishing miracles. Their last appearance in historical record dates from the time of St. Ajora. Since then, the Zodiac Stones have remained hidden from mortal sight. The Bayart Trading Company. The Bayart Trading Company, a successful trading company based in the merchant city of Wargelis, has garnered the favor of the populace by donating generously to bridge and road building projects, as well as to local orphanages, but not all of the talk surrounding this company is favorable. Many say the true source of the trading company's wealth is of a most unsavory nature. That's too bad. Opium smuggling, slave trading, and even murder most foul. That's too bad. My little carrot. Please find my darling pet. She has been missing for a number of days, and I am beside myself with worry. I will reward anyone who finds her. She is a Marlboro that answers to the name of Carrot. Of course, that's a long-going uh, reference of naming Marlboro's Carrot Th throughout different Final Fantasy games. So... 
We can get a decent amount of money from this one. Why the beep not? Bum bum ba bum ba bum 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 ba bum. There you go. Sixteen days. Okay. Sixteen days and such. Yeah. That's how we get that's how we get things done, didn't you know? Okay. No! Why are you doing this, man? Why are you screwing around like Bonga? We we we, we certainly don't need to be doing that, alright? You don't need to be doing that nonsense. My little carrot. It's a lot better than my little pony, I'll tell you what. We departed Lionel Castle in high spirits, as always. Our task to retrieve a lost pet. The stars were with us from the outset. There was very little information for us to work with. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. Eventually, we located our quarry. We then began making preparations for the journey home. Upon our return, we were given a gift in gratitude. Eagerly, we looked in to see what our efforts had earned us. It was a handsome reward in Gil. Our fortune could not have been greater. Shut up, dude. So we get 14,029 Gil. It's not bad. And a little bit of JP. Like, whatever. Because we found carrot and such. My god. Peas and carrots and nonsense. Do 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 do. Wild? Carrot, a five month old Marlboro kept as a pet by Countess Zelmase, has gone missing. After an extended search, we found Carrot feeding in the hills behind Zelmasa Manor and recaptured her. Consulting with a specialist, a pool specialist, <laughs> we learned that domesticated Marlboros regress to their wild state every fourth generation and determined this was the cause of Little Carrot's escape. That's too bad. That's a shame. A damn shame. A goddamn shame, even. Actually, before we went, we should probably learn some abilities with Alicia. Two eggs have already been laying. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Okay. You're a lancer, Harry Potter. Okay. Horizontal jumps. That's cool. Second wind. Defense up. Ignore elevation. You don't have JP yet, but that's okay. I guess we'll learn defense up. Why not? But yeah, basically, for, for Lancer, you learn different jump ranges. Jump two tiles horizontally, so... And then vertical, so that's kind of a thing. But only kind of a thing. It's not that much of a thing. Da -na -da -na -da. She has parry, nice. I like it. Defense up. Has no move thing, but that's okay. Go grab a drink. I'll be back. All righty then. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Also, you probably want to make sure before you get to Goog that you do all the errands because you're not going to 
have access to the rest of the cities for a little bit. So, that's kind of a thing. Da -da 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 -da. Also, Mustadio's Seal Evil ability will be pretty useful here. Because there's going to be monsters and undead. Commencing battle! This is not a one-time-only thing, so it's cool. Just when I thought this fen could grow no fowler... Jeez, it almost smells like West Ham Sandwich's locker. Solid footing scarce enough, and rain to rob us of that. Be careful. There's a discussion going on. So the interesting thing about this battle... Well, Mustadio's going for a disable on a ghost. That's fun. We got skeletons, yeah, they're pretty much all undead except for the one dude in the back. So, so like, all of the enemies in this, in, in this battle are going to be the same as normal. Except for this one. This one's randomly selected. It's a floating eye, but it... But, but it could also be a Marlboro or a Pig. It's just kind of random. So we got our first look at ghouls. Ghouls and such. I don't think we fought ghouls before, have we? I don't know, but... A restless incorporeal spirit. A mere touch may suck the life from its target, causing debilitating status effects. So it has teleport, counter, and levitate. Absorbs wholly... We can spire in dark, and you can't enter water. Cause, but he floats, so, you know. Demi. Abscond with a fragment of the soul, lowering the target's HP by a quarter. Oily touch. Coat the target in oil with a greasy touch. It probably, probably, it probably handles a lot of McDonald's food. Of course, we got the skeleton, and and we got this dude, Bone Snatch, who, who's new. Bone Snatch, I think he's new. A dead warrior resurrected as as an undead skeleton. It will often reanimate not long after being KO'd. Has counter, absorbs dark, weakens fire, and holy. Chop. Strike the target with a bony-handed chop, and it has water and fire onima. While the skeleton has none, actually. Normally has thunder, but not in this mod. Also, if you go in, in into the wet part of the uh, sw swamp, you get poisoned. So, that's kind of a thing. Poisonous Fen. A stagnant pool of noisome water. Quicksand. Okay, then. Tree... So you want to try and stay out of the poison, obviously. I mean, duh! Hundred percent, look at that. That's what concentrate does. Hundred percent. Oh. But of course, now with the crossbow, the crossbow works a little different than the bow. Because with the crossbow, you can't shoot over stuff like you can with the bow. So you gotta keep that in mind. I might want to, uh, check out the items here. I think there's actually some, some katanas we can get here. Let's see...
Best what wind swept earth sinkhole. Alright, so one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's an item there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one right there in the swamp. So we kinda gotta get dirty to get to that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's one right there. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one right there. Alrighty then. So that's exciting. All right, let's, let's see what Miss Mr. Goon can do. Also, yeah, she she has a spear which you can attack from. From from two tiles away, which is pretty cool. Jump! Lancer job command jumps high into the air, then dives downward into the opponent. Unit speed times two. Charge time is dependent upon the unit's speed, increasing at twice the normal rate w while airborne. So, of course, y y your range depends on the abilities that you've learned. So... For some reason, we can't jump on you. I don't know why that is, but... Whatever, man. Doesn't matter. Oh, I just speared him! Haha! <laughs> Spears are pretty nice in this game. Pretty nice. So I think there's an item there. We're gonna have to go there. And, you know, stuff and things and... A-holes and such. Also one there. I guess we can go snag that real quick, huh? Du, 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 du. We could cast holy on this far knocker. Four hundred and thirty two what in the beep Good Lord They are weekends holy, but damn That's disgusting not really needed. Could do something easier like that. Which is probably what we're gonna do. Azure room. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on.